Yeah. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mad Dasher here, and today we're talking about red cards. What are they? Why do we need them? Do you need them? How do we use them? This is your guide right here. So, a red card is basically DoorDash's credit card that they give you. When you sign up, they'll immediately sign you up for it, send it to you, and you will be able to activate it inside your settings. Uh, you go to settings, scroll down, this little section says red card, and you can activate your red card there. Um, these are for orders that come up that specifically say red card required. Now, these will pop up at like stop and shops or Walgreens, um, things like that, where you're basically going to be shopping for these people. Now, I'd be careful though, because not all Walgreens are going to pop up as uh, red cards. Sometimes you're just going to pick up an order from uh, a pre made order from Walgreens. So, what happens is you get an order, looks like this, it says red card required. And it'll tell you the same stuff that you normally get on your other orders. It'll tell you the, the miles, how much you're going to get paid, etc. You go in, and it, it's step by step. You follow the instructions on on your uh, on the app. It's going to ask you, uh, "Are you ready to shop?" You say yes. It'll tell you how many items, and you literally go through the store shopping for those items and selecting the items as you go. As soon as you hit, as, as soon as you find an item, you're going to hit, the, you're going to click on the item, and then you're going to uh, take a picture of its barcode. This is to ensure that you have the correct item. If you took the wrong item, which I've done many times before, uh, it'll tell you you have the wrong barcode. Um, it's usually right. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's happened maybe one or two times where it wasn't right. I don't know why, but, um, it, you'll be able to just, in that case, you'll be able to take a picture of it and see, I told you so, like I knew it was the right item, but most of the time it's going to say it's the wrong item and it's probably right that it's probably the wrong item. Um, if it's the wrong item, check the most likely check, like how big the item is in ounces. Sometimes you'll have the wrong ounces or, um, you know, if like a, if you're buying booze or something, buying liquor, maybe it was a six pack they wanted, not a 12 pack, but the packaging looks the same. So you just got to make sure it's the same package or the same amount. Uh, once you scan all the items, you go up to the cashier. Uh, it'll tell you specifically if you can go to self-checkout or if you're going to go to um, like a regular checkout, if those still exist in any stores nowadays. But most of the time, you can go to self-checkout as well. You scan an item, at least scan one item. And then depending on what store you're in, this is going to vary between each store. It's going to be different for each store. But you're going to scan a, a barcode that's on your phone. I don't know what that's for. Uh, maybe to go over the items you just scanned. I have no idea. Or to for your specific ID. <laughs> For your account, I don't know what it does, but you have to scan a barcode. Once you scan the barcode, you hit confirm. I confirm, hit the barcode, and then you continue to scan the rest of your items. Once you're done with the items, you just take out your nifty little uh, credit card, swipe, pays for the items, and confirms it. Um, this is the same as any other order that you do. Um, you bag the items and you bring it to the customer. One thing that I was questioning at first is at Stop and Shop, I don't know about your state, but in my state, Massachusetts, um, they charge you 10 cents for paper bags. I've been including this. That's not my, that's not my, you know, obligation to have to figure it out. That's what the, the store charges that's what I'm going to charge on the thing. So they haven't penalized me for it. They haven't talked to me about it or anything. I just put how many paper bags on there and start, you know, um, bagging it up. Um, some tips for this is what I always say is shop for people the way that you would shop for yourself. What that means is 
making sure that you get as many of the items that you would want that um, are in the shape that you would want that you would get for yourself. Not only that, but um, when you're bagging, bag like you were bagging yourself. Like don't put eggs on the bottom and then put like soda cans on top. Don't, you know, if you buy raw meat, you know, there's always a little plastic thing that you can um, get the, the raw meat and, and wrap it in plastic so that way it's not touching the rest of the food. Uh, if you get eggs, make sure you check. And, and the, um, the app will actually tell you all of this. They'll say, they'll mention, um, you know, make sure to check for broken eggs. Make sure to check for um, spoiled milk. Make sure to check for mold on any of the uh, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. It will remind you, but as a human being, just try to give the same quality of excellence that you would for your own shopping to them. I do think that this is going to uh, show when you bring them um, the stuff that you bought. Uh, by how you bring it to them, how you bagged it for them, how you presented it to them. Um, the other thing is, is that if they don't have an item in the store, you're going to hit item unavailable. And when you hit item unavailable, um, most of the time that customer has hit, uh, has selected an alternative item. So if it's like brown, large brown eggs, most of the time the customers will say like, I'm okay with white eggs or I'm okay with extra large brown eggs or whatever it is. And then you can just hit select the other um, selection and then scan that one. If they're out of all of them, don't hesitate to hit the, the text message button or to call the customer and just be like, hey, just letting you know, they don't have any of the stuff that you selected. Is there anything else that you'd like? Um, and just ask them. Don't be afraid to ask, especially when it comes to a shopping customer. You're much better off asking them uh, than not because it will show that you're going above and beyond and you're really trying to make sure that they get all the things they need. I this The shopping... Um, the shopping orders can be a little stressful at first because there's the timer on it. Don't worry about the timer. The timer is an unrealistic uh, amount of time that they're requiring you to get it. If you go over the, this allotted time, you get no penalty. Just take your time. That's like an estimated time for what they think you should be doing. It's, it helps if you go into stores that you are familiar yourself, like my, myself, I used to work for Walgreens. So going into Walgreens comparatively to CVS, I find items much faster because I just know where the items are. Compared to CVS, I don't know the items there. So anyway, so once you get all the items in there, and if you need to, you can call support too. A lot of times that I've tried, I've had no idea what I was doing, called support, especially if you're a new member of DoorDash, you get uh, premium support, or if you are platinum, you get premium support as well. So you bring it to the customer, you do the same thing, you you follow the directions. Sometimes people have very specific directions on shopping orders, so you make sure they read the directions. Drop it off, take a picture if you need it to, hand it to the customer if you need it to, uh, whatever you need to do. Um, I find that I like to put all this stuff in my catering bag if it's like cold stuff, ice cream, stuff like that. Also, shopping for those items last is going to help because you don't want them to melt in your car or anything. All right. That is Red Card. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, but yeah, that's Red Card. We'll go over the other perks on the other videos. All right. Catch you later.